our childhood friends, we moved, my family moved next door to Vanessa's family when we were 10. And then when we were living in London after, after university and after I'd done a few more courses, and we were doing up our houses in London, we felt that uh, we kept going backwards and forwards to each other, going, can't find anything, can't find anything that really sort of fits what we're looking for. And she was having the same kind of issue with her house. And slowly but surely, we kind of came up with Barnaby Gates. I think what sets us apart um, is that we don't have a particular look. Um, we're, we're not, when we design a new collection, we're not necessarily trying to fit that collection in with what we've done previously. Um, so wh while we're not trying to follow a particular trend, we just do things that take our fancy and, and it's part of the joy actually is the, the spontaneity of it. And so, so always uh, we start off, or I start off, um, drawing it. So every single motif that we put into our wallpaper is hand drawn um, and then hand coloured as well. Well, both Alice and I were brought up in the countryside. We've always, you know, we, we've both had 10, 12 year spells in London, but, you know, basically come from rural areas. And I think one of the com you know, overriding themes throughout our designs is um, wildlife and flora and fauna. And you can see this, you know, from the start where we've had the, the deer damask, the boxing hares, the wild meadow, the English robin, horse trellis. Um, so a lot of it, you know, our studio is based on a, on a rural farm in Wiltshire and um, we do get inspiration from our daily life. I have a fashion background, um, so there's always been a, a bit of that running through it. I, I, I remember our star design. Our old star was from Chanel print, wasn't it? Yeah, there was a sort of fabulous Chanel dress that Kate Moss wore for her 30th birthday or something, and, and we saw it and really wanted to create a, um, a sort of fluid star design. And it's not quite as easy to create something fluid that's not this lovely chiffon material that you see her in. But some of our inspiration, it can come from anything, from, you know, going to a restaurant and seeing a tile. Tiles, yeah. I think I remember seeing some tiles in Babington House in the sort of downstairs loo somewhere or something Yeah. and sort of taking some images of those and they had some, there were some beautiful colours um, that I think we then sort of transcribed onto one of our one of our papers. So it really, they just come from anything that we see in daily life. Mm -hmm.